So now we're going to get the perimeter of a triangle uh, in this example one and then this example two here. Okay. So we'll start with example one. You don't have to write this down. Well, you can if you like. It's up to you. But um, you just require to solve it. It says one side of a triangle is half the longest. The third side is 13 feet less than the longest side. Find all three sides if the perimeter is 87 meters. I'll read that again. One side of a triangle is half the longest. The third side is 13 feet less than the longest. Find all three sides if the perimeter is 87 meters. What we're going to do is draw a triangle. Let's do the longest side here. Okay. There's the longest side. Let's call that side length x. Okay. So there's the longest side. Now we'll deal with the first sentence. One side of a triangle is half the longest. So what's half of x? So this is the longest side, right? Okay, that's the longest side. What's half of x? It would be half x, right? So about half of the longest side. So we've got one side that's about half the longest, so we'll call that one half x. Okay. And so that's that takes care of um, this equation or this sentence here. One side of the triangle is half the longest. Does that make sense? Half x. And then the third side is 13 feet less than the longest side. So here's the third side. Obviously, it's going to join up these points. The third side is 13 feet less than the longest. Now, le the longest is x. What's 13 feet less than x? <coughs> Let me ask you this. If this side length happened to be 100, let's say it was 100, what would 13 less than 100 be? What's 13 less than 100? Well, it would be 100 minus 13, 87, right? If this side happened to be 50, what would be 13 less than 50? So 13 less than 50 be 50 minus 13, 37, right? So what's 13 less than x? If you have x, what's 13 less than x? 13 less than x is x minus 13. And it's not 13 minus x, by the way. See, 13 minus x is incorrect. If you take 50, what's 13 less than 50? It's 50 minus 13. Not 13 minus 50, right? Because, see, 50, 50 minus 13 is 37. But 13 minus 50, that's totally different. See, that's negative 37, right? So it's not that. It's this, 50 minus 13. Okay. Similarly, you know, it's x minus 13, right? Anyway, so we've got an expression for each side of the triangle. And we drew, drew a triangle, which is always nice. And now we're going to deal with this sentence. Find all three sides if the perimeter is 87 meters. So the perimeter is 87 meters. What does that mean? It means that the distance all the way around the triangle, all three sides, make 87 meters. If you add all three sides, you get 87 meters. If you take your half x, and you add your longest side x, don't forget the longest side x, what else do we need to add? We also need to add the x minus 13 side. You can put it in parentheses, you don't really have to. But if you add up all three sides, what do you get? 87 meters, right? And now we have an equation with just one le type of letter in it, and that letter is x. And so we can solve for x. So go ahead and solve it for x. What you might want to do is put a 1 in front of this and a 1 in front of this. And even nicer would be to turn the half into a decimal. What's 1 half as a decimal? 1 half as a decimal 
is 0 0.5. So you might want to do 0 0.5x plus 1x plus, and you don't need parentheses for the x minus 13, do you? Plus 1x minus 13 equals 87. Okay? So that's a nice way of doing it. Now add like terms, what do you get? So you just When you turn that into a decimal, it just makes it a little easier to add like terms. So if you look at your x's, you got 0.5x plus 1x plus 1x. What's that? See, all these three together make These three together make what? 2.5x. And then write out the rest. Okay? So now solve the equation. What do you get? <coughs> so if you add 13 to both sides, right, that gives you. 2.5x equals 100. And now what? x has been multiplied by 2.5. How would you get x by itself? Divide by 2.5 on both sides. Okay? <coughs> so we have 100 over 2.5. How would you simplify that? Well, you could multiply it by 10 over 10. That would get rid of the decimal on the bottom. Okay, see, that would give you 25 on the bottom. And 100 times 10 is 1,000. Right? And then you can simplify. Okay, so 25 into 25 goes once. 25 into 100 goes four times. 25 into 0 goes 0 times. So that gives us 40 over 1. So we have x equals 40. Okay. There we go. Now, x equals 40, that we're not done. That is not the final answer. Because the question actually said find all three sides if the perimeter is 87. Find all three sides if the perimeter is 87. So good, we have one side, which is 40. Okay? But what is 1 half x? If x is 40, what's 1 half x equal to? Because we've got to get this side, and then we've got to get x minus 13. So we have to get, so we've got one side, which is x is 40, that's great, but we also need these other two sides, right? So what's a half x and what's x minus 13? Well, a half x would be 1 half times x. What's x? x is 40. 1 half times 40, which is 1 half of 40 is 20. Or you could write it 40 over 2. Same thing. But that becomes 20. So this side length is 20. So this is 40, this is 20. What's x minus 13? Well, x is 40, so that's 40 minus 13, which is 27, right? So x minus 13, 27. So the lengths of the triangle are 20, 27, and 40, right? Do they all add up to the perimeter of 87? Check that. Check to see if they all add up. So if you take 20, 27, and 40 and add them, what do you get? 7, 8, 87, right? So that works out. Let's have a look at this one. The perimeter of a triangle, example 2. One side of a triangle is five meters less than three times the shortest side. The third side is seven meters more than the shortest side. The perimeter is 42 meters. Find all three sides. Again, you don't have to write this down. You can if you want. You don't have to. Let's just try to solve it anyway. So one side of a triangle is five meters less than three times the shortest side. The third side is 7 meters more than the shortest side. Seems to me that the shortest side is mentioned twice. 
right? And that's nice. Let's draw a triangle with a shortest side here. Here's the shortest side. Okay. In fact, let me just write here shortest. And we're going to call that X, right? Okay, so this is this length is X. That's the shortest side. One side of a triangle is five meters less than three times the shortest side. So one side is going to be more than the shortest side, right? Uh, let's call it. Let's uh, make it this one here. Okay. So how would you write five less than three times the shortest side? The shortest side is X. Let me give you a bit of practice on that. Could you write five less than twelve? Write down what's five less than twelve. Five less than twelve is what? Seven, right? So it's twelve minus five. So when you go five less than, you're subtracting five. Five less than means subtract five, right? What would this be? Five less than um, p, just for fun. What's five less than p? Five less than twelve is twelve minus five. Five less than p is p minus five. Okay. Now give me this. What's three times the shortest side? Can you write that down? Three times the shortest side. Just write down the answer. Three times the shortest side is, and the shortest side is x. Remember, we just decided we'll call the shortest side x because the shortest side appears in both equa in both sentences here and here. So I'll write, draw a triangle, call the shortest side x. Okay. So three times the shortest side would be three times x or three x. So now we need five less than three times the shorter side. I'm, you don't have to write this down. I'm just writing it out just to make it as clear as possible. Okay, so have you got it? What's this? Five less than three times the shortest side. Don't have to write out the sentence. Just write down the answer. Five less than three times the shortest side. First get three times the shortest side, three x. Now, what's five less than that? Five less than that is, take this number and subtract five. And that's five less than three times the shortest side. Okay. So this side here is going to be three X minus five. And now we just have to do with this side. And what's the expression for this side here? The third side is seven more than the shortest. Can you write down seven more than the shortest? I'll give you again, I'll give you some practice. Write this down, seven more than ten. Write down seven more than ten. What's that? Seven more than ten? Seventeen, right? So is it ten plus seven or is it seven times which? What's seven more than ten? Is it ten plus seven or seven times ten? Well, it's not seven. It's got to be this seventeen, right? Ten plus seven. So seven more than x. Seven more than x is seven more than ten is ten plus seven. Seven more than x is x plus seven, right? X plus seven. Okay. Now in a sentence, the perimeter is forty-two meters. What does that mean? The perimeter is each side added up. It holds all the way on the triangle, right? Take the shortest side and add side three minus. And we also add 
When you uphold 360, you get the total perimeter of 42. Right? So now, by all means, press pause and solve the equation and see what you get. Okay, hope you press pause and tried it. I'll go and do it now. I'm going to add like 1x and 3x and x. There's 1x, 3x, x. That's three different x terms. That's 5 x Press pause and solve it from here if you haven't done so yet. So you're going to subtract 2 from both sides, right? 5x equals 40. Now what? 5 times x is 40. Divide both sides by 5. x equals 8 meters. Okay? We're not done. That's not the final answer. Because it says find all three sides. Okay? Find all three sides. So we have x equals 8. That's the shortest one. 8 meters. What are the others? Can you find 3x minus 5? And can you find x plus 7? Because you got to find the lengths of the other two sides also. So 3x minus 5 would be 3 times x minus 5, which is... be 3 times 8 minus 5, which is... 24 minus 5, which is... 19 meters, right? So this guy is 19 meters M. He's 19 meters, this guy is 8 meters. What about the X plus 7? What's he? That side length is 8 plus 7, which is 15 meters, right? So this one is 15 meters, right? Now, check it. Do they all add up? 19 plus 15 plus 8. What do they make? 19 and 15 would be 34 plus 8 gives 42 meters, right? So that worked out. So we have all three sides, 8 meters, 19 meters, 15 meters, and um, 42 meters is the answer, right? Or is the perimeter, so it all works, right?